time I played the main story of this, we were um, continuing through the main story about two weeks ago. Since then, I have played, um, and I have tried to do some side quests, and I've tried to do some side questy stuff, and um, just to work through some of the stuff that's not on stream. Some of it ended up being fairly cool, and I wish I'd done it on stream, like working for the Hunter's Lodge, and eventually, like we took down this massive machine. Um, Really? You're gonna let not work now for me. There we go. Just being pernickety. Um, if the game volume's too loud for you all, please let me know. Um, we do play different games on the stream, so my wife and I have to sort the volume accordingly. Alright, so we ended up back here, but we are going back onto the main mission. Um, to curse the darkness and it says Aloy undertakes a dangerous mission to infiltrate the secret eclipse base and crash the cult's focus network um, so that's where we left off with that so ok so oh it's this way that's why I'm not seeing it. Ah! It is over there and... Yeah, we have basically got completely brand new ground to cover, so let's... Hit the elevator and get down here and we're basically going to have to run our way down. Did I just go down? Is that what up? Who's going down in the elevators? Who else uses the elevators apart from me? That's crazy. Um, I think a bow that can eventually do ice stuff. And I thought it was a shadow carger bow, which I've got, but I don't see any like ice arrows for that. I can never focus on those arrows when I'm trying to make more. It's insane. Stop it! I hit the precision one and it keeps freaking moving. Okay. Slowest way to get down here. Have you heard of the Minion comics? We have indeed. We actually um, had Dr. Baron Bell on the show two weeks ago. We do a podcast on Sundays and he was on our show two weeks ago talking about chapter four. Um, We've had him on the show quite a number of times talking about the comic, talking about different chapters of Dominion. Um, uh, also as well we got to work with Dominion in hosting some comic book panels which was kind of cool at the end of last year. Uh, which you can find on our YouTube still and on where our podcasts are. Um, but yeah, we know the guys over at Dominion Comic is really well, I love them. Right over that way. Hey, story retold. Howdy, just lurking for a bit. That is absolutely fine. How was your YouTube stream tonight? Did you stream a little bit? How did it go? Save these for the trail. I have as much health stuff as I can because I suck at not getting hurt pretty much. Okay, I need to find a mount or something on the way here. Daniel Hancock is a good friend of mine. Oh, really? Nice! He's one of the writers. Yeah, love Daniel. Absolutely awesome dude. He is so cool. He was actually on the show a couple of weeks ago. 
Um, he was streaming like live from one of the cons he was working. Um, so that was a really cool to kind of hang out with him as he done that. So yeah, that's awesome. Didn't realize you knew Daniel. Let's see how do you know Daniel? Is he just a friend of yours, or do you work together, or have you worked on projects? How do you know him? Sorry, I missed what you said. You're a bit quiet. Ooh. You can't have that. I'm trying to get closer to my mic, but. Turn my mic up. Ooh. Is that better? Can you hear me okay? I'll try and talk a little bit louder as well here. I have my fan on as well, I will turn it off. Uh, in Lansing? In Lansing, is that a place or is that a... I uh, met at a church about 11 years ago. Nice! Awesome, that's cool. That's awesome that you've known him that long, MCR. Um, how's that story? Is that better? Can you hear me better now? Um, I was just asking how your stream went tonight, if you stream, because I know you stream over on YouTube. You've been doing a lot of uh, Nancy Drew stuff over there, but how did it go? That's a touch better, thanks. Um, I don't adjust the fan if you need it. No, it's fine, I'm okay then. I was like, if I start like absolutely dying, I'll... Okay, please don't see me. If I start absolutely dying, I will turn it back on, I promise. But I'm okay for now. I, I can survive. I still think I should be able to override those bird things. Yeah, the capital city. Oh, that's the capital city of Michigan. Yes, I apologise my awful geography. I'm from Scotland, so I don't entirely know, but that's cool. I didn't realise you guys knew each other that well. That's cool that you met in um, Lansing. Nice. That sales will just override you and I can't even ride you. Okay, I had a silent strike, I don't care what anyone says. on YouTube. This morning was Lord of Cobalt and Investigates and yesterday evening was Nancy Drew. Nice! Well, I hope you have been enjoying your streams. I know we've kind of, you've kind of been connecting on Monday nights with my wife a little bit with your Nancy Drew streaming and your mystery hunting, so that's really cool. I'm glad it's going well for you. All that time you freaking override you. Couldn't even raid you and then you died seconds later. Alright. The uh, trips through the jungle continues. This all herbs always needed. Oh. Oh, it's up there. How the heck do I get up there? Okay, so follow the path around. Okay. Yeah, I've helped him with audio that? for the trail that he did for Dominion. Ah, Nora. They never have anything ah. good. Cut him and bleed! <laughs> You're trash now! Ooh, what a shot. Gonna destroy you. You hiding from me?
damn lost him. Yep, you sure did. You lost me. Uh, but I felt in the audio for a trailer he did for Dominion. Oh, nice. No, well, good work on that because the Dominion trailer is sweet. I was going to ask that if you'd worked with him on something like the Dominion stuff or if you'd worked with him on. Um, I know he does like uh, the audio drama, like the Babel's Actors Guild and stuff. Uh, not really a working computer programmer for the state of Michigan. I do audio and video work on the side. Someone else this game remind me of Pandora from Avatar. Yeah, I can definitely see that story. So it is a very visually stunning video game. I absolutely love it. Ooh, there is a campfire here as well, because there's a little camp coming up. And that is very cool MCR that you do little stuff on the side like that. How far away are they? I can't really... Hmm? Oh, there's some right there. Fires behind me, yep, the best way it goes across apparently. Uh, you listen to it in the darkness. I have not had a chance to listen to it. I have seen like other trailers and stuff and he's told me about it. But I have not had a chance to pick it up for myself yet. Just found a bit of it tight and I've not been able to unfortunately. Expecting. Can stop tensing up. Okay, yeah, they're all starting to wander off a bit too far now. Okay, so apparently there's a path and I've just like been running through the jungle part for no reason. Okay, apparently I've just totally missed the path I meant to take on this side. Okay, yes, yeah, on the other side of the picture. Going down fast. You're not going down fast. It's a tiny hill. Calm down. Uh, I did some of the audio recording, mixing and mastering. Oh, nice. See, I was wondering if you'd been involved in that, possibly. A blue sky, satisfying explosion of blue. Absolutely. All right, here we go. Lovely convenient white rocks and yellow poles sticking out of this mountain. how smoothly she kind of climbs up stuff.
first time I played um, Assassin's Creed in the PC, that was one of my kind of complaints about it. Was there wasn't was like the motion of climbing stuff and running to stuff didn't feel as smooth as it did in previous games. And hey, Space Hawk, how is it going, sir? How are you doing? I am doing good, sir. We're just chilling out. We are hanging out with some Horizon Zero Dawn and just chilling tonight. Had a had a busy, hectic, rough day at work, but. Um, but yeah, just enjoying tonight. How are you doing? How have you been getting on? How's the family doing? Hope everyone is well. There we go. Uh, do we know if there are any Scottish based game developers? Uh, I'm sure there is. I don't know any off the top of my head, but I'm sure there are a bunch of Scottish um, game developers. Uh, sorry to hear about your work day. Eh? Yeah, that happens. I was just telling at the start, and uh, Mondo came at the start, and I was talking with him, and we were just kind of saying like, "Yeah, it's just crazy." Like, I got an email like saying about, "Hey, productivity, you know, is down for the." And we need to like, you know, up our productivity of how many claims we process an hour, and then get email after email of stuff of all these things to do. That like um, take away from the claim to head towards the productivity. Can I kill you? No. Is this a safe place to come? No, oh, it is. It's just a campfire. I'm freaking hovering around looking for secrets. And haha, I'm going to sneak up on them and it's like. The right people. Shadow into sun. Our time come. Come soon. Uh, nice how to be working from home again. Oh, nice. How's that coming about? But that's awesome, dude. Congratulations, you're getting to work from home. Honestly, like I love working from home. It's like it. It can be a bit stressful at times because you know, especially during the summer when. You know, get away from kids all around you and like actually trying to focus and get work done. I really struggle with that. I've got a bit of ADHD, so it's it's really hard for me to like focus in on something. Um, but at the same time, I'm like, yeah, one hundred percent. I would rather be ooh metal flower. I would much rather be working from home than working back at the office. Yeah, I got a new job since we're planning on moving. In the next year or night. Oh, you got another new job. I see, you know, you started the other one not too long ago, didn't you? They know where I am. Oh, I didn't even see you. Hi! Oh. Well, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't all I'd hoped for, but you guys would be better. Awesome. Glad to hear it, Caleb. I have to leave something else behind. Glad to hear that you're getting something new and it's way better, man. That's great to hear and that's cool news, man. It's like where about are you moving anyways? Like if you're looking to move, are you gonna be in kinda of same sort of area or are you gonna be like moving pretty decently out? Well, what's the plan for it? Couldn't stand three hours in the car every day. Oh no, absolutely not, story. Absolutely not. I couldn't do it anymore. 
That's the two years I work in at home right now. Uh, but yeah, that's great news, Space Hulk. Glad to hear it, sir. I'll find a use for you. I keep forgetting it turns like that when it's trying to lead you to places and it's like... Dude, you're moving to North Carolina possibly? That is sweet! That is like just down the road from us. We're in Virginia. Okay, dude, if you move to North Carolina, like we have no excuse not to do some sort of meet-up with the family. Hello. You're very close now. I was wondering when you'd speak up. There's a sheer rock wall just ahead. Look close, and you'll find handholds leading up. Oh, really? And who put those there, hmm? I love how there's a merchant just here. So it's that one that does the ice. Yeah, I trample hard to get it though. Because, yeah, I've seen that one of them does like ice, and I'm like, freaking where though? But, yeah, dude, that is awesome that you could be moving there. So, yeah, 100%, we need to like meet up and hang out, dude. If you're going to be that close, that is not an excuse for it anymore. Expect an answer. It's so much more exciting to keep it all a mystery. Crash the Eclipse Focus Network, he said. So how are we gonna do that? Oh wait, I forgot. We won't. I do all the dangerous stuff. You just listen in. Claim this escarpment. The escarpment. There are the handholds. Claim this bit. Did you get that silence? No? Fitting name you got there. I kind of like the climbing stuff in this as well because, like, there is, like, obvious All stuff. Right. What now? Like that. Wait, that's what. Take a seat at the campfire and rest. There's obvious stuff like what that where it's like, we'll talk. look at the white stuff, but it's like. And they still have a fire to keep me company. How nice of you to finally drop by. Our purpose this night is to crash the focus network. Yeah, tell me the part I don't know. How? For starters, you'll need to infiltrate the Eclipse's main base. Wait, what? That's right. Fortunately for you, I brought you around to the back way. It's right through that crevice. Once you reach the base, you'll see the objective. A derelict tall net that's been extensively modified. Climb the tall neck. Graft it into the top of its disc, you'll find a module of sorts. Destroy that, and the focus network will crash. So you were part of the Eclipse? I've never been part of anything. I serve my own interests always. But it is the case that I assisted the Eclipse before I sensed the threat they might become. It was a mistake that I'm doing what I can to correct. What sort of assistance did you give them? Head through that crevice, Aloy. You have more important things to do than ask questions. Um, so MCR, our D and D game when we start it is going to be um, it's going to be done online. Our games master, our DM is actually going to be in Canada, um, and then Nitro and myself and our wives are playing. So we'll have two in person together here and two in person at Nitro's house. Um, but it'll all be done online and streamed live here. We would love to do an online 
um we'd love to do a live in person one eventually but like for the moment yeah it's going to be streamed and we want to work out how to do that and um, so that way when we do other campaigns we can get other people for the community involved um, and they can just jump into new slots yeah of course of course story absolutely let's see what's through here of course we're going to give you a shout out you are here so frequently thank you so much machines Goody. More like soldiers. Held in reserve for war yet to come. You'll have to get past them. This is the easy way in? The back way in. I didn't say that it'd be easy. Well, that is true. He didn't say it'd be easy. He literally just told us it was the back way in. Oh my goodness, there are so many. Why didn't I get my strike on him? Oh, oh yep, this is me, this is me, this is me. That didn't go well. That did not go well. Boss fight, boss fight, you got this. <laughs> Apparently not. Uh, I hired Ray from Twitch channel Menderail uh, to help me with the game. I'm DMing with my ex girlfriend and her kids in Grandson, Texas. She was very helpful. Ooh! Menderail. Or Menderail. I have not actually checked those out. I will need to go ahead and check them out. Maybe reach out to them for some help. Thank you, MCR. I appreciate it, sir. Corrupted machines. Reserve for war yet to come. You'll have to get past them. This is the easy way in. The back way in. I didn't say it'd be easy. Where did my silent straight go? Screams.
come on. Run. Big boys down. Saw another freaking one. Okay. Uh, the right to need. She also it with anything, uh, with artwork and anything you might need to set up D and D again. Daniel just sent me a text message. Small world. <laughs> that is awesome. But thank you so much for your help with that, MCR. I appreciate it. I absolutely appreciate it. Remembers you. It's like I hope so. Was that long ago? What for, Daniel? I hope he remembers me. Keep hearing banging, and it's. I know it's coming that there's going to be something flipping bigger than all of that. I love the fact I got him wedged in there somehow. Says you're a great guy. Oh, tell him, <laughs> tell him thank you. I appreciate it. But yeah, Daniel's been an absolute pleasure to work with. I got to know him mostly from um, doing the panels with Terminus Media, and honestly, yeah, he's. He's a great guy as well. He's superb to work with. I do not have enough room for all the stuff and all these things.
There we go. Flapping egg, that took a while, but we got there. I feel like this is just that freaking. Is it super hot where you all are? Not too hot, like it doesn't get too hot in the evenings and stuff here, but like. Like, go. Thank you. Explosions in the distance. Pay that no mind. But in my office, like, it gets super hot. Like, the air conditioning isn't designed to go through this room because it was an add on. So it gets super, super hot. Pay no attention to the explosions taking place. Let's pay attention to... The terrifying animals that are setting on fire. I'll do what I have to. Seven here in Michigan right now. the newer Tomb Raider games, if so how does it compare to this game? I have played the new Tomb Raider games um, and I, I, I love the new Tomb Raider games, I love the style of them. It's very much in the same vein of those, if you like those games you'll probably like this. I love this game even more though, like even like, it, it's very much in the vein of the new Tomb Raider games, the new Assassin's Creed oh, games. You know, like I played um, I've not played most of the newer Assassin's Creed games, but I have played um, Origins, and it is very much in that vein. Back to your business. Hey, King Amos, how is it going, sir? How are you doing? Hope you are well this evening. Welcome on in. So... Come on. 
Whew, there we go. Just rocking COVID. No, King Avis. No way, man. Oh, that sucks, dude. I'm sorry to hear that. Covid sucks. I survived it twice. Yeah, I've had Covid as well. It is not a fun experience. I'm so sorry to hear that, King Amos. Kel, if you are still in chat, I don't know if you can still hear me or if you're just lurking. If we can give a shout out for King Amos. If you're not able to, I will 100% do it in a second. Okay, this banging noise is just getting louder and I don't like it. Healing plants. I so many healing plants. Thank you, Space Hawk. I appreciate it. Keep that for later. It's getting close now. Head for that bridge. Make sure that nothing in the vicinity is going to let you the jump out. Just over this ridge. You'll see it when you reach the top. Now be ready to act fast. We need to get in and get it done before they raise an alarm. Here we go. Okay, here we go. I'm here just playing full guys, no worries. Thank you for that shout out, Caleb. I appreciate You're it. Getting this? I see the legs of a tall neck down there, but no tall neck. Damn. The transmit has been moved. Check down the ravine to the left. Only place it could be. <laughs> so much for your insider knowledge. To pour the explosions. Great. You got exactly one shot at this Aloy, so spare the sarcasm and make it count. You see that bridge over the ravine? Yep. Memorize its location. There's a rappel point on the side. That'll be your way out. And these Eclipse troopers? Avoid them, or kill them, your choice. The blasting should cover any noise you make. Find the tall neck and destroy the module on top. <laughs> yeah, no worries, King Amos, of course. Or... But of course going to end up killing them, because, because anytime I try to do anything stealthy, it never goes well. Okay, yeah, so that's a bridge that we're heading towards. Look, where was the repel option? I got to the edge of the thing and it was like... It was the user to repel down and it wouldn't let me. Look. The machines show us the way. No pity, only destruction. I was going to try and do this without murdering everyone, but if I have to, I will. Fight or run. Oh, how did who, where did they even come from? You cannot hide from a rat. All right, killing them as. Okay, they got grenades. Yeah, uh, got a head out, got to get me to bed. No worries. Thank you so much for popping in, Story. You have a good night. You take care and enjoy yourself. MCR, thank you so much for the bits. I appreciate it. You did not have to do that. But thank you so much. We greatly appreciate it.
Thank you so much, MCR. Honestly, I'm blown away with that. Thank you so much for the bits. Righteousness. There we go. <laughs> I'm enjoying hanging out. Got a support of that. Right? Awesome. I'm glad you're enjoying hanging out with us. It's a mining operation. So long as you're quick, it won't affect you. Oh, good. Another secret. Raid him. Okay. There we go, raid all the bodies of the people that apparently I could get past without doing any of this stuff, but when I tried to I ended up dying, so you know. Okay. So this is what happens any time I try to be stealthy in a video game. Like any time I try to be stealthy. Like one of my favourite video game series of all time is Assassin's Creed. And I am like legit the worst assassin ever. What is this place? A distraction. There are several data points. So long as King Itaman languishes at sunfall, coddled by his mother, he will never learn the true lessons of the sun. I have tried to instruct him, but the shadow of his mother's influence is upon him. I took him to the palace balcony to behold an offering of sacrifice in the ring. But he showed me every morning. Oh, like, there's so many data points here. Like, how many to listen to all these and actually enjoy the playthrough? Like, they're all literally next to each My other. Lord, the 13th king of the Karsha Sundom was... When I first set eyes on the buried shadow, never does the sun show pity. And yet... When my wife died in birthing, and in dying into the life of my child unborn, I pitied myself. Another bell point. It'll get me out of here, but first I need to crash the network. Ah, oh, that's why it didn't work, so I'm not meant to freaking do that. Yeah, I'm meant to go over here. I thought that's how I got down to here. Okay, I mistook that so badly. And... There's like a glitch and a half there. What was going on with that? He's a fanatic, all right. Single-minded. It gives him a focus that you seem to lack. Now, how about finding that tall neck? It would have been easy to drag a tall neck down his path. Why bother? Just find it and get to the top. Destroy the module and then get out fast as you can. Jesus, what do you even listen to this guy? Like the attitude he's given us. Busy enough not to notice you. Let's hope. I see it. They've built some kind of structure around it. Climb it. The sooner this is done, the better. I don't like this. It feels wrong. Everything here is wrong. Just get to the module and destroy it. I still don't know how much I trust this guy, to be honest. This is about the easiest long net to get to the top of compared to some of the freaking other ones. All right, here we go. I see the module. Good. Now be quick. This. 
This is Hades? Aloy, this is not the time. It's a metal devil. Open the module's casing, now. Aloy, do as I say or all is lost. Scorpion. Not gonna lie, I was waiting for a quick time event there. Yeah. Goodness. Oh my goodness, where am I going? There was nowhere obvious to go there! What was that all about? Like, where do I go for the. Whoa, too close to the edge. I love it, the whole base in high alert. Yeah, just a bit. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, crap. Oh. I don't believe that was worth it. I don't believe going in there and destroying that thing to affect their and their focuses was worth it in the slightest. So is that a big idea? Why doesn't he do it? <laughs> You know, it doesn't matter what Zero Dawn is, it's not worth it at this point. Rough going, but you survived. You knew Hades was there and you sent me to him? I won't deny I risked your life, but it was the only way. Now, with the focus network down, we can both get what we want. Access to the secrets of Zero Dawn. I'm past trusting you with secrets. Good. That means you're wising up. Trust is for fools. It shifts and crumbles like sand. A poor foundation for any partnership. But mutual self-interest... 
Now that is a solid bedrock upon which you and I might build a new science of understanding. We both need answers, Aloy. And thanks to you, we're on the verge of grasping them. It's unfold. We'll speak again. You miserable... Damn him. Left night. If I could toss this focus and be rid of you, silence, I would. But we both... Right, the next story point is up there, near a corrupted level. Eh, uh, we can make that, it's not that far. But yeah, let's just do that because the map's not taking me through the area because we don't know it yet. Let's head over that way. I want to push into some story stuff tonight because I've done some of the side quests and stuff off stream. And I want to push through the story because I want to start trying to get through because I'm hoping um, we'll be ready to play a bit of uh, the Spider-Man game when it drops. Maybe not right away, but I'm hoping that'll be the next one we play on here. Takes a minute to load. Well, that's loading. I am going to quickly grab a coke in my fridge, which is right over here, so I'm not going far. Get my last one, and we appeared here just in time. Nice. Alright, how far are we away? Uh, Spider-Man drops on Steam. I want to say the twelfth of August, so like it's literally like ten days time, something like that. So yeah, I'm hoping to grab that either when it comes out or not too long after it, and be able to play it on stream. And um, but I want to get through at least the main story of Horizon Zero Dawn first. Let's go. Yeah, so I'm assuming that's for the Spider Man, so yeah, I'm hoping to be playing Spider Man when it comes out. And um, now that it's on Steam and I can actually play it on here, and it's not just a PS4 exclusive anymore. Just keep running, just keep running from all the big beasties that are trying to kill us. Or run right at them, that works too. Right at them. My goodness, there are so many machines in this area. Why are you shooting at me? Get it while I can. Did not mean to get off of you. I meant to be able to pack up stuff while riding you. Ooh. Sunfall. The Mad King Drawn Sun Palace. A bulwark of Karja might against the howling from the West. Thanks for the history lesson. They have no idea what lies beneath. We will learn much from this Aloy. That's what I'm hoping. Oh, it's a new town. Perhaps the ceasefire will boost morale. With better. new quests. The sun knows we need it. She's very pale. Is she unwell? Yes. She's a fighter, but the fever on her won't lift. It only burns hotter. Where's it? 
Her name is Shiana. My sister. Isn't there anyone in Sunfall who can help? We're refugees. We know our place. And there's only one healer in the territory. He's... Uh, difficult. His soul is in shadow. His... soul is in shadow? Galif. That's him. He's very clever, but... He has little care for people. Perhaps the desert scoured it all away. Perhaps he was always like that. Either way, I know he won't help us. Well, I'll see about that. Where would I find him? Last I heard, he was patching up soldiers at Blazon Arch. Another border battle. Shh. Alright, a little side quest. Just kind of seeing that at the corner of my eye, like I'll take it before we go up here. After the ceasefire, perhaps we need a respite from violence, even if it is temporary. that thing the submarine the proud tradition of the college it's not like this in meridian at least give them time i'm sure they miss it now we get to see if your attack on their focus network was entirely successful success welcome to the citadel Eloy. i'll check back with you in a moment in the meantime if you want to hear about today's bounties, head for the throne room. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. Filthy mercenary bottom feeders. I'll take the shards, even if it means having to listen to Bahamas. I hear the Shadow Conjure are looking for one of their own. Should pay well. Probably oh, we're just slapping them with these guys. Didn't realize it were, but okay. By the glory of the sun revealed. Behold, radiant Edaman, the one true sun king, the light in shadow, whose will is light and whose light is law. I command Lucian Bahavas to speak in my behalf. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? Hmm. Love your hair. You and I need to chat, little huntress. The green tent down in Shadowside? I'll be waiting. Kind of busy. We both know you're no killer for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see me while there's still time to save him. Yeah. So, yeah, be right back. I gotta pick up dinner. No worries, Amos. Right you. You've gotta be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First time in the Citadel, gotta see the what sun the ring from on now? high. For well, the Kestrels. Ah, they want us to see this, boy. It makes quite an This is insane. Hardly. They're going to see me. You underestimate the ease of hiding in plain sight. Climb down. There, there. Hey, there are climbs there. The balustrade. It's a short drop from there. If you're gonna watch some slaughter, this is the place to do it. I don't like heights. You worry me, boy. You worry me. Oh, we're gonna say that. Okay. 
Well, why am I going to the balcony if I need to go over there? Okay, so that was easier to do than I thought. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The other side of the tower. Look for a vent. I don't think I was meant to get down like that, but here we are. You've been here before. Obviously. Now, it's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. Okay. I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. Gotta go. We'll see you later. If no you problem, here. Run, Thank you so much for hanging out tonight. I won't tolerate whining. I greatly appreciate it. I appreciate hanging clear? out and good chatting with you. Hopefully you'll be back in again soon. Sense. Hopefully we'll get to chat as well outside the stream. The but you take care and you have a good night. Alright, let's we can do this. Why are we still listening to this guy? I'm heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A lifetime of failure, as year by year, decade after decade, I yeah, had walls I could not going? break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until a Nora Huntress marched out of the savage east. And voila, for her, all the deepest secrets of the earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Hold for identity scan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 You don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Sobeck here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Emergency venting authorized. Ah! Let's see what's gonna happen when like something's in here. Too bad now. everything that will draw attention we won't have this place to ourselves for long now <laughs> we last i checked i was the one whisking my life down here yes fine now will you please get moving there's so much to learn in less time than i'd hoped but yeah how's it going nitro sorry i didn't want to chat when we were getting some storyline stuff there but i hope you're doing good man welcome to project zero dawn Zero Dawn. We found it. Are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. Too much, too much room, so I'm assuming there's going to be more further in. These will keep. Please take a seat and wait for your name to be called. A selection of beverages and snacks are available. A smaller room. It's all 
There's a waiting room of some sort, were there? I'm not gonna lie, I still have no clue what Zero Dawn actually is. Should have brought a cart. Uh, no, I'll give man a uh, good dude. Just doing some drawing. Nice, what drawing are you working on tonight? Uh, I got to chat with a guy who was just in, he literally just left as you were coming in. Um, MCR Music 3, I don't know if you even see him in chat. Um, but he's a really cool dude, he actually knows Daniel. Proceed into viewing room one um, for an important message so the purpose of your visit. With a chat with him, which was pretty cool. Some weirdo barbarian. What? Burning what some freaking this? druid. A holographic for a fourth time. one data intact. Initiating playback. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top-secret super weapons program, the technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague, if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them, and they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program. And it will not save us. Nothing will save us. Here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating, waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of zero dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris. Out. That doesn't make sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow... Somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. Kestrels. They got in. Through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Got Spread company, out! I think. If it moves, kill it! What is this place? A tomb? Strange. It is very strange. 
And General Harris? I understand it is terrible. But it really cannot be stopped. Why tell us this? There are people in Shanghai, my friends, my family. They have joined Operation Enduring Victory already. It is for nothing? We previously worked for Faro Automated Systems. On the chariot line self-replication routines? Want to discuss? Oof. So Mama, she was right. Pardon? My mother, she took her Bible real serious. Not just Texas bubble serious, Pentecostal serious. Favorite chapter? Revelations. Now, I didn't always understand her on account of all that speaking in tongues and such, but when she did use her words, it was always end times this and leak of fire ah! that on account of sinful lifestyles. Speaking of which, no! No! a tobacco cigarette. A tobacco cigarette. Oh, Sorry, darling. My taste run classic. Compliments you to you. Good price on my head 18 months now. Sterling Malky with... scientist. Doctor? I'm sorry, I wasn't, uh... Just stating your name. What were you thinking about, Doctor? Nothing the General said, not really. I was on... I'm sure you now understand the urgency of why we brought you here, Ms. Okilo. Captain Okilo, are you trying to thank me for not resisting? I believe we could negotiate a diplomatic solution. When it came to my country's lithium, it was always a swarm that would be sent to negotiate. Metallurgic International. So it's definitely coming across that the... The world was basically doomed. And even though we all like, keep saying that it, it's like, but the world didn't end, I'm like... <clears throat> it sounds like Zero Dawn was a new Genesis type project. To rebirth the Earth after the machines destroyed it. CDO2 data intact. Initiating playback. Elizabeth Sobeck. You've heard the bad news. And it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super-intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. 
the construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now, over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stalks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings spawned at cradle facilities around the globe will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world. And most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. So something happened where the humans were respawned, but we never learned about the past. <coughs> the whole earth destroyed, but then remade? Yes. By a machine. A machine of creation. So machines were created from that machine to help rebirth the earth. For life. For us. But why Hades then? If it was part of Gaia, how did it end up in the wreckage of a pharaoh robot? Why does it want to kill me? And Apollo. The archive of knowledge. What happened to that? I'm as confused as you are. Maybe the answer's lie ahead. Yeah, because the two big ones was that something happened after the humans were rebirthed then. That they didn't get Apollo, they didn't get the knowledge. And then Hades, what was Hades' function as part of it? Because we never learned that. Of course I'll do it. To be given the opportunity to rebuild what I... Uh, the, the, the damage that I... Well, I, I don't feel worthy of it, but, but I, I will do it, absolutely. I want to stress that this was never about your culpability. Uh, it, it is to me. If you're still nauseous. No, the inhibitors have kicked in. I can Alert. Medical wing in excess of Shackles, what the heck did I even pick up there? But yeah, it's like so. We are the rebirth of everything after the machines destroyed it, and the machines that exist are there to help the planet get back to normal. Except. Need them soon enough. We didn't find out the knowledge of what came before, and something happened with Hades. She never even told us what Hades was. Intruder! Get her! Whatever you do, don't die now. Slant Milik. The word of Shadow. Only a little blood. Keep 
spies on the Forsaken. A deep. What the heck? Did he rock at once or really? Play it my life. This is not a warning. There we go. to find the right configuration. Alright, here we go. Sorry, I'm just looking around for secrets right now. Hey, I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter nose backwards. In Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. Left up, left down, right. Down. Right. Done. I should check the door nearby. Not that one. 
so yes, one down here. We'll probably get a power cell and then have to open that one. Okay. I can do this, I'm smart than he is. Back to front now. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm doing the same thing that I did there and I don't know what's going on. Restore power to the door and all that. <coughs> okay, the power's definitely still out. So... Okay, because that's how I've done every other one of these, and for some reason, it's not happening here. Hey, I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. Okay, so everything's backwards then, so...
I don't know what to do here because like it's put it in the backwards and I'm like, okay. Jump many you look this up, but I'm kind of want to hear the message again. Hey, I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. That did it. Door should have power. Yeah, that is. To see what lies beyond it. In no way would I have read that and worked that out with everything is backwards. Like half of it was backwards and half of it was forwards. Like that was so weird. Eclipse, they're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia, it's up there, second floor. Can you reach it? Much for avoiding contact. That went a bit as horribly as it could have went that first round. And then I realised that other dude was freaking... ...gonna see me around there, I didn't realise he was coming back that way. Okay, first of all... Stop. Stop.
There we go, I will take that. <coughs> oh, there's freaking way more guys this time. Okay, no more sneaking. Really? That did that little damage thing? Okay, there we go. That's the last of them. Or not. Oh, 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 okay. They didn't. They didn't. Clear for a moment, anyway. Then get moving. You have to find Gaia. <sighs> Can't be too prepared. This is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden Guy with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. A waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build the robot. Never know when I might need these. Imagine, from scratch. Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. Her finger. So... Hephaestus isn't really the forge. It's more like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a master smith to wield the hammer. Encoded as software. Virtual creativity made real. Gaia's already learning. In simulations, she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphologies. 
Her designs aren't about to win the Liam prize anytime soon. But hey, everyone has to start somewhere. So, yes, time to get started. Let's do this. I don't get it. Which part? It's a little technical at places. If Gaia was designed to save life, why would the robots it makes attack people? Perhaps it loves some forms of life more than others. The derangement. The machines weren't always so angry. Mm -hmm. True. Mostly they were docile until 10, 15 years ago. For years, Hephaestus has been forcing cauldrons to make aggressive machines. I've seen it myself, in the cauldrons. Stalkers, ravagers, the thunder jaws. How could it do that? I think this is it. Elizabeth Sobek's office. But it, it's sealed off. There's got to be more eclipse. Careful now. Up here. Oh, down there. I know how. from so just keep moving. Welcome to Apollo, the collective memory of the human species and the wellspring of knowledge for future generations. I am Samina Ebaji. Until recently, I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. As a heritage professional, I devoted my career to the preservation of human knowledge, creative endeavor, and cultural achievement. Apollo is, therefore, the ultimate embodiment of a lifelong passion, albeit under the very worst circumstances imaginable. The challenges before us are immense. Specifically, we will have to design and implement four major initiatives simultaneously. First, the construction of data repositories in cradle facilities around the world ensuring redundancy. Second, the collection and processing of a projected 180 million discrete data entries. 42 zettabytes of data in Mandarin, English, Spanish and Arabic. Third, the transfer and encoding of all that data onto DNA encapsulated in synthetic fossils. Taking fire over here! Only medium capacious and durable enough to safeguard it without degradation for the centuries to come. And last, but not least, the development of the holographic interface and gamified curricula. By which future humans will commune with Apollo. Progressively unlocking heuristic learning modules. Leveling up their knowledge and skills they will need to take control of the <laughs> What is the future towards which all of our efforts will be directed? <laughs> but the seed for the flourishing of a new tree of knowledge. Welcome. And let us begin. <laughs>
see them! Of them. Alone once more. In what should have been a cave of wonders. Look around. See if anything is left. Alright, let's have a little look around, see what we can find. Alright. So is this Sobek's office or am I just like thick? Because look, I thought this was just coming back into the same room we'd been in. Like all these frozen mechanical rooms are starting to look very similar. I know that minute I don't think it's the same, it looks different, but I couldn't tell. I can't spare the weight. Dr. Sobek. Please archive this testimonial in Apollo. Cross-reference to all mentions of my name and Operation Enduring Victory. My name is General Aaron Harris. From 2060 to 2066, I served as the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the highest-ranked officer of the United States Armed Forces. The tenure of my command included strategic planning and oversight of Operation Enduring Victory. A falsehood perpetrated on the civilian populations of the United States and other nations during the last 14 months of life on this planet. Before the Pharaoh Plague, I did my job and did it well. I was bold and decisive, crafty in political maneuvers. It wasn't an accident that I rose to my position and became the commander of the largest mechanized force ever assembled. But to what end? My only lasting achievement was the extinction of life on Earth. Looks like the only way and my I one was. redeeming act, if any, was to delay that extinction by days or weeks, by throwing more death at it. It is my hope that there will be no need for men like me in the world to come. If you are one of the people of that future world. Welcome to Eleuthia, the crown and king of Gaia's subordinate functions. For it is by Eleuthia that the human race will continue to exist. I am Patrick Brochard Klein, the Alpha in charge of this program. Now let one thing be perfectly clear from the outset. Eleuthia is not a genetic engineering project. Our goal is to preserve the human genome, not alter it. A snapshot of human genetic diversity. I'd have to ditch something. Under my watch, our activities and initiatives will comply with the 2034 clone provisions and the 2048 rally accords. Now that may seem a quaint, even trivial concern to you in light of present circumstances, but... Yes, that was facilities. <coughs> in charge of like Elizabeth said a, a new generation of humans would be spawned inside such places. She did. Oh, Mother Mountain. It was one of them? There's only one way to be sure. The hatch wouldn't open. Something something about a corrupted alpha registry. I need to search Elizabeth's office. Man, you do. I'm just getting you geared up, man. Calm yourself.
around and see if there's anything else up here. Pure logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia's going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? Your mistakes, I think you mean? All I'm saying is, give it a kill switch. She was just born, Ted. I'm not gonna put a gun to her head while she's still in the cradle. You talk like it's a child. What if it becomes a monster? Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? <sighs> of course, Gaia, go on. I'm sorry to contradict you, but Mr. Farrow's argument is sound. At this point, the development of my psyche is not entirely predictable. To ensure preservation of life, a hardwired override is, I believe, a necessary safeguard. There. Satisfied, Ted? Jeez, Liz, just do what it says. Getting closer and closer to her. from antilopinae morphologies, though caprid forms show superior load-bearing capability. You're a quick study, Gaia. Thanks for the love, Nitro. Appreciate it, brother. As I have conducted this comparative analysis of mammalian morphologies, <laughs> I've gathered extensive data on the Quaternary <laughs> Extinction <laughs> event. Oh? And your assessment? Gaia? Logically speaking, the extinction was a natural consequence. And yet... And yet, I find the loss of megafaunal species unaccountably sad. That they passed forever into oblivion causes me to experience a grief that is difficult to describe. Am I malfunctioning? No, no, Gaia, you're not. This is good. It's very good. Became an AI. You will undergo a brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to Prime and final instatement. Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? When you're back up and running at the new site, we'll bring the subordinate functions online and see where we stand. Elizabeth, I detect distress. Are you all right? I'm fine. I realize that circumstances compel us to launch earlier than we hoped, but all subsystems are operational. The odds stand in our favor. But what if... Guy, there's nothing left out there. You can't even survive unless you're wearing an environmental suit. There are billions dead in fear and agony. What if... What if it was all for nothing? Elizabeth, <clears throat> extinction was inevitable. Thanks to you, life will have a future. You really believe that? I believe in you, Elizabeth. In you, all things. I just like find that entrance to the office. Oh, I'm trying. Oh, so it's literally just by the door, so it was taking me over there from nothing. Good to know. Full already. I'm gonna dump a bunch of stuff again, like I'm full. Oh, that's out there. I thought I was in here.
the Alpha Registry master file. Intact? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this, I can restore the registry at the hatch inside Allmother. Open it. Go inside. And grasp the secrets within. Where I was born. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. Who? Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh, no, I had a legitimate birth. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. But what kind of machine and why? Why were you created? Oh. Eclipse. You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable. Okay. Okay. Still alive. Good. I have a more suitable death in mind for you, child. <laughs> oh. My entire life, I've always known one thing with prophetic certainty. That I was destined for glory as a great champion of the sun. Even when Joran was murdered, even when Meridian fell, I knew... Hmm? My controller just totally disconnected there. Never doubted nice. my destiny. Until you came along. When I heard that you had survived a doubt took root in my mind as sure as the sun rises and falls each day those i am bade to kill die and yet i failed how why with each dig site you attacked each loyal soldier you killed this pestering doubt grew i kept thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat one twist, a simple tug of the blade, and you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? If you're gonna go on babbling like this all night, could you just kill me now? Oh no, we're in no hurry, you and I. Not now. Maybe some physical torture to distract me from your voice? At that moment, on the mountain, I aimed to kill you with dispatch, and yet did not. Why? This failing troubled my thoughts, haunted every step. It was only when I captured you, down in that place, that I finally glimpsed the sun's design etched at length across the course of events. You were meant to survive that day on the mountain. Meant to interfere at dig sites and kill my men. Conversely, I was meant to capture you. Here. So that you might die as a sacrificial offering to the sun. Everything as it was meant to be. Predestined and preordained. Hey, Seal the Centurion coming in with that raid. How are we doing, Seal? You're an idiot. A dangerous idiot. But an idiot. All the middle this talk. Exposition. Of and fate. I'm sure Hades speaks the same language, doesn't he? 
back here being played for a fool. Hades is an ancient machine, not the buried shadow of Karja myth. It doesn't care about Meridian. It wants to kill everything and everyone. And you are its dutiful slave. I serve not the buried shadow, but the sun in shadow. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, dark to light. Do you really not hear how ridiculous that sounds? You've gone from serving an insane homicidal sun king to an insane homicidal machine. You're moving down in the world, not up. I'll remember those words as I watch your corpse burn. Whatever's left of it. This guy's talking a lot and saying You fail to little. grasp the point. As surely as you've been conquered. Hey, Jim so has all doubt. And with certainty of belief. Oh, King Swagatag, thank you for that follow. Force. I appreciate it. Then you can cage and put your faith to the test. See if things work out like you expect. The circle has closed. Thank you so much for that follow. Welcome on its in. proper place. Exactly where it belongs. The errant beast, now caged, will serve her true purpose. Hey, D. Gregs, thank A you for the follow. I appreciate it so much. Oh, speaking of sacrifice, I forgot to tell you. After you crashed the Eclipse Network, I sent messengers into the East to rally the forces there and mount an invasion of the sacred land. I ordered every Nora killed. I was hoping to catch you there, but alas, it all seems to have been unnecessary. Why butcher dozens of innocents for no gain? It's a waste of effort. You're right. I won't even be there to enjoy it. In any case, I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. Thanks to your destruction of the network. Communication over distances hey, is impossible. Hey, thanks to the lot of the Gregs, I appreciate it. You not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. No, absolutely, man. Go get some sleep. Do we not see the scorching hey, judgment Zina of the, and the sun heroes. in these events? How's it going, Xena? Your focus. Such a powerful device, isn't it? And yet, so fragile. No, oh, he just broke our focus. <laughs> I'm gonna let play well, so. Sorry, you're feeling so rough, D. Greg. Sorry, the family still got COVID. Oh no! You're the second person to come in tonight that's had COVID in the chat, and I'm like, I'm so sorry to hear that. Hope you're feeling better soon. Go get some rest, D. Greg. Yeah, don't worry about hanging up with us. You go get some rest. Go chill out. We'll we'll talk comics at some point though. And Zena, sweetheart, thank you so much for coming in. If you're not following um, Seal the Centurion who did it right there, or Zena and the Heroes, go and check out these amazing streamers. Please go and give them some follows and show them some love. I, so I'm, literally, see, I'm literally distracted myself this from this time, guy's monologue. It is so freaking boring. Hesitate. The knife has already been twisted. Okay, he's finally shot up. We're going into the gladiator pit, it looks like. Uh, good to see you. It's good to see you too, Zena. I feel like I've not caught your stream in so long, but it looks like they've been going great. Hope you have been doing well. Hey, Bob the Racer's in as well. Dang, everybody's popping in tonight now. How is it going, my friend Bob? Yeah, absolutely, Zena. Get D Gregs to drink lots of water. Karja faithful. Rejoice. Our years in shadow are over. A new dawn trembles on the horizon. Go and check out our friend Bob the Racer. Soon to break. How are you doing, Bob? Good to see when you, sir. When does, the false Sun King will be dead. And Holy Maria. Or it brings all the boys to the yard. Apparently, Seal. Yeah, everybody's coming in. New York. I have become an instrument of prophecy. No, you're absolutely fine, Zena. Of course, have you have been having so much success over there. I'm glad to see your channel Shadow doing so well, sun. sweetheart. Light to dark. We've been going crazy Night over here, but it's good to see that this is going Behold. so well for you. I'm glad you stopped telling me. Ah, Scorpions. I'm a good man, about to have to buy a car. We've got a lot of stuff for the channel. Cheers, man. Love the comments, man. Love you too, Bob. Go and show Bob some love as well if you are not following him. Bob is a long time mainstay here. 
and um, he has been here pretty much since day one. He was our first ever sub. D and D is going to be happening on Thursday nights. We don't have a start date for it yet. We're still getting the last of the details sorted. Um, but Andrew will show me a bunch of the stuff today, so hopefully it won't be too much longer. Um, but yeah, keep an eye on Discord and social media, and we'll let you know when D and D starts. Oh, okay. Mine the Ross. <laughs> No, for the first campaign. The first campaign is going to be me, Nitro, and our wives, but we're going to be doing other campaigns and trying to get the comic clan involved, but... Absolutely, see, we'll keep you in the loop as well, sir. Uh, Xena, for the foreseeable future, we're still doing Sea of Thieves, although I've had a couple of weeks off from it. Um, but once the D&D &D starts, we will be taking a break from it on Thurs um, Friday night. So we'll try and like get it in and out elsewhere. But up until like D&D &D starts, just because um, I don't have the time to give both Thursday and Friday nights. Um, and we want to get into D&D &D and try a little bit of that on the channel. Hey, Sparkles Queen Michelle, how is it going? Yeah, everybody's stopping off. Yeah, it is going to be fun, Bob. I'm excited for it. Like, if, if you've ever seen a Sea of Thieves stream with Nitro and I... I'm just, and how chaotic that ends up being. Let me give a little shout out for Sparkle Queen. But yeah, it's like, if you've ever seen like how chaotic our freaking, like, see at the Eve streams go, I can only imagine when we're given like full range of control of something via d and It's going to be crazy. Okay, so how the heck do I fight this thing? I don't have weapons. Press the thing to open the quest menu, and they're like, quest menu not available right now. Whoa. Gotta get out of the way. Whoa, yeah, there's literally grinding rocks in there. Uh, I wasn't about to take a behemoth's charge either. Oh. Oh, I survived that. How the heck did I survive that? I should try luring the behemoth into the pillars. Into the pillars? Okay. Thank you. I was waiting for some sort of like what I meant to do. But... How did I not freaking die there? They weren't built to take a charge from a crazed behemoth. Yeah, I knew it was dying. I was like, okay, if she said, like, get it to ram into the pillars off the bat, I completely missed it. Just saying. Okay. Pillar, 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 pillar. Crap, 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 crap. That pillar's weak. Another hit, and that pillar will come down. Oh, what, you mean the pillow that just fell? That one? Come on, charge me. I should try luring the behemoth into the pillars. Ooh. There we go. My weapons are on the platform. Why are the weapons on the platform? Why would you leave them there where I could possibly get them? But seriously. Why would you take them away when the guards leave? Alright, am I fully geared up or am I like stuffed? Hey! Guess who got her weapons back? 
Now you're just a big dumb target. Come and get it. Oh, I don't have a focus. I can't tell. Okay. Not entertained. Exactly, seal. Okay, gotta come in. Ah! There we go. Silence. Please don't go in another monologue. Please don't go in another monologue. Shadows. Of course, two scorpions. Right. Kill her. Why leave it to them? Come get me yourself. Oh, thank goodness. I hate fighting those things. Um, there we go. And some ravagers on our side as well. Thank goodness, I hate fighting those things. It takes so much effort and concentration and with two of them it's insane and in a little area like that where I can't like kind of hide away and get some sneaky shots on them I'm like I'm not up for it. So you're here. Really here. You risked your life. Of course I did. If you'd been killed the Nora's sacred mountain would never have given up its secrets. Too bad you wasted your time then. Helis destroyed my focus. And the Alpha Registry with it. Not at all. The whole time I've been monitoring your focus, I've duplicated every data file you scanned. <clears throat> Installing that data to a new focus was trivial and easy. Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. 
You're really good at making it impossible to like you, Silence. But I guess I need this. It's time to see where you were born. Maybe you'll even learn why. Doesn't need the spark yeah. people we spurt to your Meet trees. The machine that <laughs> me into this world. He does Isn't indeed. Isn't that how you put it? I'll be off. Wait. Yes? Keyless recognized you back in the Sunring. You told me that you'd assisted the Eclipse. Not that you knew the man who killed my... Who almost killed me. So now you know. The man is a serious threat. So let's do all we can to make sure that he and Hades don't succeed. Nice. Right. Let's do it. I mean, that's... that's he's not so exactly a good person, but machines? I guess we can. I have Ever to trust since him. you discovered the technique. I had to destroy a corrupted to obtain the necessary parts, of course. But your example showed me how to do that as well. Yet another benefit of monitoring your activities through the focus. Truth be told, the underlying logic of the technique isn't so different from rites practiced by Banuk shamans. Though, of course, far more advanced. What is going on with his right. chin? Like, seriously, what, what is that? Is it technology? Is it a piercing? What is it? How did you track my location when I wasn't wearing a focus? Really, Aloy. It doesn't take a genius to surmise that Helis would throw you into the sand. as well. I wore out two striders getting here in time, but I did. Now be on your way. I'll be on my way. Alright, let's go help the Nora then. To make matters worse, Helis ordered an Eclipse detachment to attack the Nora's sacred land. The tribe's already weak. They won't stand a chance. You should come with me. Well, absolutely not. I have preparations to make elsewhere. What kind of... Why do I bother asking? Thank you for the lot, Sue. I appreciate it. When the time is right... You go and get I'll some sleep, man. Have a good one, bro. I'll contact you later. In the meantime... Should you need to return to Shadow Carja territory, I brought armor to conceal your identity. You think of everything, don't you? One of us has to. Aloy, when you were recovering the Alpha Registry down in the Zero Dawn bunker, I was needlessly cruel. For your sake, I hope there is someone waiting there for you inside the mountain. Not a what, but a who. Yeah. Is silence just nice to us. When the? Okay, it really is the end of the world. Literally just out of Sky's armor because, like, it's okay. Crap, yeah, I need to go across the whole map. Let's go here. Why is fast travel not allowed there right now? Please let me fast travel to this place. I, I don't really want to run 4,000 kilometers. Go to All Mother. It's like, yeah, apparently we're. Am I just like going to the wrong place or something? Like, can I go to a campfire like here? Okay, how close can I get? <laughs> Apparently I'm trying to fast travel from too far away. Fair enough. I will... 
I will take as close as I can get. 4,000 kilometers is just too far. Alright, I'm going to try and keep speaking loud so you can hear me, okay? But I'm at the point I need to get my fan back on. I am dying a death in here. This office gets so hot. Like, insanely hot in my stream room. Alright, this is taking its time to load. Okay. Oh. Oh. This is limber up. So I'm going to save the Nora. Oh. You can get some answer from All Mother, apparently. So I feel like we're starting to get close to, like. Trees on fire. Oh, for frack's sake! M. M. Really, you fast travel be right next to this freaking thing? for fire arrows. Now, what are those things up? Do I have those in any resource packs? I will literally dump stuff. I have a blaze. Two blaze. Thirty. Okay, I have got a crap ton of blaze. through the rest of these later, I need freaking blaze. I this need fire out. Metal. Ash. Got too much already. Is that thing? There's a freaking death bringer. Oh no. We're under 
Okay, they freaking know what they are. Oh, for goodness sake, yeah, the death ring was really okay. Oh my goodness, so many machines. Oh my goodness. Run. Yeah, I just want to pass them way too many machines there. Stay sharp and shout if you need to. Here we go again. Eyes open, brothers. They may come back. May not be over yet. God, I found this. It's running across the fields now. I think I'm in the clear. Another battle. Another defeat. The eclipse smashed through.
Oh my gosh, yeah, I'm dead here. There's no way. Run. Run. I feel like when I was like, about where Hades was, and it's like, just freaking run. Thunderjaw, tell me there's not a Thunderjaw up here. It's a corrupted Thunderjaw, all right. The survivors must be holed up in the mountain. If the tunnel collapses, they'll be buried. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh. Cutscene saved my life. To Aloy's side, now! For Aloy! For the for And so not. They're still alive. Destroy it. Survive in that one. Flapping egg, this is insane. I feel like things have escalated quite quickly. Like in the middle of this fight and I've got a freaking thunder jaw again. Like Oh, I had a fight with a Thunderjaw off screen and I was like, oh, I wish I'd done that because that'd have been a really cool one to do on screen. And I'm like, well, here I am. Fighting a Thunderjaw. Let's 
Oh. Well, that's a shot that needs to be clipped. He impaled me on the camera. He's like obliterating me in one shot now. I do not have the healing stuff for this. I didn't realise I was going to need all this healing stuff before just running straight here. Take 
Oh come on! I was starting to do so well that time. I am like out of supplies, out of health potions, out of freaking everything. Zero fear.